Hey, what's going on? Steve here with another video here from Unbox Tech, and today we'll be talking about the latest version of Android, which is Lollipop. Now, last night AT&T just released the update for the Galaxy Note 4. Now, this version is 5.0.1, and I realized that there is a revised version, which is 5.1. But for us Samsung users, we're going to have to wait for that. So for now, I'm really excited with this update for Lollipop. And I wanted to get this video out to you guys as soon as I could. Now, this being the next day, hopefully you guys appreciate that. I really wanted to give you guys an overall look of the changes of the UI, which is user interface. And just show you how badass it is. So without wasting any more time, let's show you what it is. Okay guys, so I'm going to be showing you exactly what the new features are due to the Lollipop update. So first off, on your lock screen, when you turn your display on and you get a notification, like I had my girl text me real quick, you get the actual pop-up message or your notification and it'll pop up on your home screen, or your lock screen, I mean. And... It has a white background, so it looks really nice and simplistic. So all you have to do to access it is swipe down, and it brings up all your whole notification bar. And you simply tap on it, and it'll take you right into the messaging app application. So that's a really nice feature. You get to your messaging really quick. So let's go ahead and back up again. And also, the new feature is that you get to swipe up on the phone icon and actually get quick access to your dialer. So to me, that's a really useful because I hated before how you can only use it if you had an emergency phone call. So now you can just get quick access to your phone dialer. So that's really nice. And then going back to the lock screen, again you still have the camera application. So that's always been the same where you're able to swipe up and go to the camera. So we'll go ahead and just ignore that. Now, getting into the notification bar, which is one of the main features also, when you pull down, you have these white t tiles, so to speak, and um, or bars, white bars basically, that display all your your Wi-Fi and me I have my Pebble connected so it'll display that information right here now the notification bar uses very soft colors or the material design and I think I it's really cool I think it's really awesome it looks really nice and simplistic and clean so I'm really enjoying that so far also, another feature is when you check, you're changing your brightness, <clears throat> it shows you in real time how bright your display is getting while you're moving your brightness up and down. So that's pretty cool. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so that's just about it for the notification bar. Um, besides it, oh, okay. Also, when you're scrolling it back up, it actually goes back in layers and to me that looks pretty cool a little animation effect it looks really nice alright so let's go ahead and get into the main applications of your phone so we're gonna take a look at the caller or your dial or whatever you want to call it and now as you can see your keypad is a lot different before it had like a grid and it was really old-school looking now you have more of a simplistic soft color theme. Now the whole theme of the dialer is the green color. And if you notice up here, if you can see that, the actual notification bar blends in with the application you're looking at. Now this is only for some of the apps, especially the main built-in apps. They optimize the lollipop effect. But certain apps like Snapchat, that's not the that's not the case. It's still behind the scenes right here. <laughs> um, it's still with the black on top, so that hasn't changed. 
So go ahead and close that out. Um, so we'll go back to the dialer actually. And then you have your logs, so your calls, your favorites, and your contacts. And they're all changed into these bubble look, this bubble look, instead of a more blocky effect. And I actually enjoy that. It depends on the user. I mean, certain people might not like that. I like it. So that's about it for the dialer. So let's go ahead and start looking at the messaging app. Go ahead and take a look at the messaging app now. As you can see, it goes with the theme of Lollipop, how it has different colored themes for certain applications. So the messaging application for the Note 4 at least is a yellowish orange color. So going into a message, it looks pretty much the same except the picture of the person, of the contact basically, is in a circle form. So to me I like that. It looks like really simplistic and nice and clean. It reminds me of the Apple icons, how they look. And also right here, if you go to your main page of messages, you can create a message really quickly with this nice icon right here at the bottom. Now mine looks a, a little bit different than yours if you update it to Lollipop because I have the Google keyboard. But you can easily change that. I can change it real back real quick. So let me go ahead and change it back. Just to show you guys how it looks. So they did change the camera. I mean, what am I talking about? They did change the keyboard, um, and it has like a lighter gray background. So to me, it looks a lot cleaner and looks really crisp. I like it a lot, but I prefer the Google keyboard, so I'll go ahead and change it back. But just to give you guys a quick look, I wanted to show you guys that. So now we'll go ahead and take a look at the camera application and show you a few things that have changed. Looking closely at the camera settings, the only thing that have, has changed really is the modes. So if you hit modes, now you have quick access to your slow motion and fast motion. Fast motion would be like your time lapse videos. And slow motion, of course, is slow motion. You already know. Self explanatory. So that's about it. Just for the camera, it's completely the same except for the, for the modes. I wish they would have did something with all of these settings. I wish they would have made it look a little cleaner. So that's one thing I wish they would have did. But overall, I think the Lollipop update is pretty amazing. It's not dramatically different, but for the things that did change, it's really nice. I typically use the Google camera app because to me, you get better low light pictures with the Google camera because the HDR effect on the Google camera is a lot more dramatic so it'll whiten up your pictures if you really need it very easily compared to the stock app and okay, now we're going to take a look at the settings and show you how it changed so going into the settings now you have a nice cleaner or a lot cleaner interface for the settings to me it's a little more well organized but they still need a little bit of work but it's not as bad as before so we'll go ahead and go down I'm gonna show you guys a quick tip just so you guys can just for your information if for some reason you did not like how you have your notification popped up on your on your lock screen like if you don't want people seeing your messages or you have nosy people around you, you might want to turn the setting off. All you have to do is go to your sounds and notifications right here. Just scroll down. And go ahead and go down here. And go to while locked. Hit that. And then you can hide sensitive content or just do not show notifications at all when you're, when you're on your lock screen. So that way, if you don't want people seeing all your, your, you know, all your pictures or all your messages, then you could turn that setting off. So that's really nice. 
And also right here, you have quick toggles to all of your settings, your ringtone, media, notifications, and system. So that's really cool. They made the interface a lot easier to use. Last thing I want to cover from the things I noticed that changed is the music application. So I, I use the Google Music. So right here I'm going to play my intro because I have permission from the singer to use it. So that's why I have it in my as my intro, my outro. So go ahead and go to it. <clears throat> my favorite band by far is Fit for a King, so shout out to them because they're freaking amazing. So we'll go ahead and play this song. Oh yeah, also the volume settings look a little different too. A lot more simplistic and really nice and clean. So I don't want to blow out your ears playing this really loud, so I'll go ahead and leave it low. <clears throat> but when you pull down your notification bar, that has changed because it looks really simplistic and nice and clean. <clears throat> and, excuse me, actually when you pause it, it moves down to a smaller little bar along with the rest of the notifications. That way you can just clear it or resume playing and it'll pop back up. So that looks really nice. A lot better than before. So we'll go ahead and turn it off now. Alright guys, so I really appreciate you watching this video and taking a quick look with me at the new features of Lollipop. If you like this video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to my channel, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, really appreciate it. Hit me up on Twitter at unbox underscore tech. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.